yeah what's up what's up what's up what's up my friends hello now look this is a quick recap on the usd jty the way i see it you know i've been looking at this for the past let's say one week okay for the past one week i've been taking a look at this and you know been giving all the kind of bearish signal okay i started following this because i see a kind of bearish signal so i think this is now the time to you know do a kind of simple analysis very simple not the one to talk too much about this thing. okay actually if we're gonna go bearish, all right, you know, um, let's see. If we're gonna go bearish, definitely, uh, definitely, we have a kind of box. To break okay we have this box here to break so it means that the US the JPY have to turn around and we break this box here let me put a green line on it There's no need for a green line. Okay. This is the line I'm talking about. We have to break it. To come downward. Right? So. If we put a kind of pending order right here. Hoping that when this turn around. It comes and break it. That is one view I see about the USD JPY. Okay, right now it has a lot of things to do. Okay, making a preparation to turn around. You know, all this turn around strategy has a lot of things to do because all this time frame need to align together from the smallest time frame up to the daily. They need to align together and then the, the big moves will come. So what this is doing now is that it, it needs to align with the daily. Okay, this is one hour time frame. Okay, all the small ch uh, time frame from one minute to one hour, you know, one hour till the daily. They have to align together before the drop will come. So, and you know, there's some candlesticks in the daily. It's so, you know, so big. Even the smallest candlesticks have a big, a big pit. You understand so that is why this one will find its way to turn around so when the alignment is complete this is going to drop all right so now based on this right now where do you even get out and take your profit and leave you see this is the previous high do you see this now if you want to leave this thing alone you can say okay if it's gonna drop, man, get out. Make this one red. If it's gonna drop, then let us get out. You might say, okay, let me just leave it alone right here. I can get out from here. <clears throat> okay, that's if you do that thing like a high low trader. You understand? The high and the low trader they get out from here this is high low the high low trader they will get out from here all right let's dive in okay now you see if you are kind of a channel trader 
and you know that this thing has broken the top of this channel and it has to reverse and come back to this top of this channel in the test definitely you understand that okay you want to get out from here because you understand the channel because you understand that this thing has broken the top of the channel then it has to come back to retest the top of the channel so while this will be coming back to retest it has to pass through all this zone that I'm touching right now you can exit anyway on the channel now if you are the type that do things like let's say you are a kind of Fibonacci trader and you believe in Fibonacci look at this line this dot this dotted line it is the central band of this channel okay so this is the Fibonacci line here okay you know that when you if you know about this Bollinger Band strategy that the price if it breaks the top of a Bollinger Band in the uptrend it comes back to the middle central band now what I'm trying to say is that this move started from somewhere inside this channel so it started this move started from here inside this channel went all the way up broke this middle and then this stop now when you want to look at the big movement that okay this USDJPY is gonna retrace okay definitely look at it's gonna come from this top of this channel and get to the bottom of this channel okay so what we do in this case is that in your own case if that is where you want to exit you say okay i want to exit when it gets to this central fibonacci band you see you see this if you are a support resistance trader I guess when you look at this thing up here it's a resistance you can say man from all this analysis if I'm a support resistance trader I better get out at this support level here do you understand this move is uptrend it's uptrend but it has to come into correction you see this support resistance zone this is where support resistance trader will exit and this support resistance trader will be looking to buy at this support level where they found support they will buy now the trend line traders a trend line trader believe that now look price broke this uh what is this this is a moving average price broken and a trend line trader believe that i mean a moving average trader believe that when the price have broken that moving average and gone far away it has to come back to retest that moving average look from the day it has been broken it has never ever come back to retest so definitely a drop is coming to happen that if we retest this moving average so you the moving average trader you must say okay i want to exit once there is a retest on this moving average and those moving average traders once they get there when they exit they buy again because they know that is a buy signal you understand so based on all these things okay based on this analysis i can say okay uh this is exactly the end of this video and then uh i believe we should have a wonderful trading okay thank you so much and god bless